This is a follow-up to the DAS transfer utility tutorial. We're going to work a little on the mesh that we created in that tutorial and make it look more like a human being than a ghoul. I just type Control D to deselect all the objects in the scene. The eyes, the eyelashes, the teeth and the gums are all left over from the DAS mesh that we used as a template. I use my mouse to select these artifacts and delete them. Most of the teeth and gums are hidden inside the head. To get to these objects, I'm going to have to use the H option. First, I switch to a view of the side. Then I hold the H key down as I drag a rectangle on the back of the head. The back of the head is hidden, so now I can delete the gums and the rest of the teeth. When I'm finished, I press Control H to unhide the back of the head. Now I can start working on my mesh. If this were clay, I'd have scaled drawings I could take measurements from. But Sculptress doesn't even have measuring tools, so here's a trick I use. I've loaded a background image of my subject. Now I'm going to position my mesh so that it lines up closely with the background image. Now I'm going to use the grip tool and gradually I'm going to pull out the mesh until it lines up perfectly with the contours around it. Now it's time to do the side profile. I'll need a side image. Again, I'm just going to use the grip tool and slowly pull the mesh out so that it lines up with the background image. Now all the high points of the mesh are lined up perfectly with the background image on the sides and on the front, but as you can see it, it doesn't look quite right yet. We've gotten the shape roughed in a little bit, needs a little work, but we're going to move on to the face, add a little bit more detail, make it look more human. I've got close-ups of the face on my other monitor. So I'm working off of those to... I'm using a plastic ruler uh, to, to measure the proportions from time to time as I work. You could load a background image, but you're not going to see it. The mesh will block it and it's useless. This is just going to be a default mesh, so I'm not going for any likeness here. I just want to get it to look human, and uh, in this case, since it's going to be a female mesh, I want it to look somewhat feminine. Once I achieve that, there I won't go any further. It's looking pretty good, but I think it needs a set of ears. We need some cheekbones so we know where to line the ears up at. There are a couple of ways to do ears. The simplest is to just use your balloon tool or your drawing tool to kind of just draw them on the surface of the skull. And you pick out each of the details with the drawing tool, slowly 
build it, build it up layer by layer. But this isn't a really good ear because it's it still seems two dimensional to me. While this may look like an ear from the side, it doesn't from the front to me. This is a much better method. Start with a bulb. You pull it out around about the center of the ear. Looks like a little bolt. Now you 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 make rings around the bulb because an ear looks sort of like a shell. And as you go on, you you draw that ring out and you start adding detail. Now this is a to me this is more of like an ear. This is three dimensional. If you want to put a pair of glasses on it, uh, the ears will hold it. Uh, the hair forms around it better. You know, the hat forms around it better. All around it, it to me, this is more like a 3D ear. And I normally just use this method myself. But, you know, you're free to choose. I just presented two of them because some people have a difficulty with ears. In my opinion, ears are a feature that's overlooked quite a bit, and it's a shame too because uh, uh, the features of the ear are really unique on each person. They're almost like a fingerprint. So I think it, it, it does your sculpture justice if you spend a little bit of time to make sure that your ear really looks like an ear, and it not only does it look like an ear, it looks like the ear that belongs to the specific person whose likeness you may be doing. I went and uh, loaded a background image of uh, a face that I'm using to base this off of just loosely, just to make sure that everything's in place. I'm not going for an exact likeness, this is just some model. and. Uh, I just want to get the ear and the, the rest of the face as close as possible. I think I've reached a point where this is a good enough default mesh. I don't really need to spend that much more time on it. I'm going to you know, rough in some muscles. I don't want to, like I said, be too detailed because uh, this mesh will change as I use it to create likenesses or of individuals or characters from my imagination. So I just want it to look human. That's my goal here. <laughs> I've loaded my mesh into Daz now. I'm running it through a few poses, a few animations just to make sure there's no weirdness, no deformations, or anything that's going to be really hard to clean up after it's posed. Dance poses can produce some of the most traumatic effects on a a mesh. But this one seems to be okay. I don't see any uh, severe shredding of the mesh or any spikes shooting out. Uh, the fingers seem to be pretty well animated as well as the toes and the neck. So uh, this is a real keeper here. I'm going to go ahead and save it as a, a, a character file, uh, as a property I should say under DAS, and uh, use it again because it could come in handy just to pose it as it is and sculpt to the pose. Of course I have the object and I could always just sculpt the object file in its default pose and as a likeness and pose the likeness. I can go either way with this mesh which is good. Um, so that, that's about it. That's uh, how you sculpt uh, from the point uh, of having a really poor mesh to making it look somewhat human. You're going to have to do the rest. You'll have to add the artistry. I can help you along the way if you need any uh, uh, advice. I'm, I'm not really a professional uh, per se as far as this stuff goes. 
but uh, especially the animations. But I can help you with some sculpting tips. So if you you like the video, let me know. And if there's anything that I've missed that you'd like me to cover a little bit better, let me know that too, and I'll see what I can do with the uh, with the next video, or maybe a supplement to this video. Um, you can leave the message here on YouTube. I'll pick it up. I always answer my uh, my messages. Thanks again. Have a good time sculpting.